And now students, we will see what is the difference between avalanche breakdown and zener breakdown. Avalanche breakdown takes place in a normal PN junction diode, which is symbolically shown like this. And zener breakdown takes place in a zener diode, which is symbolically shown like this. This is an anode cathode. This is an anode cathode. Now, in avalanche breakdown, if you make the diode reverse bias, okay, the normal diode, if you make it reverse bias, then the reverse gra bias graph can be shown like this. Can be shown like this. This is voltage, this is current, and this is your breakdown voltage, and this is what current is increasing. This is avalanche breakdown. This is avalanche breakdown. Now this avalanche breakdown takes place because the depletion area which is there in PN junction when you reverse bias this, when you reverse bias this, the depletion area whatever is there in a normal PN junction diode, it will be having a large area, large depletion area. Now in that area, when the thermally generated minority carriers from P type and N type cross over, at that time they collide with the atoms. There is a collision with the atoms which are present in the depletion region. And because of the collision, there are many free electrons, many free charge carriers produced. And because of that, the current will go on increasing. So there is collision collision effect is there. The kinetic energy will make a collision effect and because of the trick, collision effect there are many free electrons or many free charge carriers are produced and because of that there is a drastic increase in the reverse current which further can produce more heat can can destroy the device itself. This is what is we see in avalanche breakdown. In Zener breakdown what happens is because the diode is heavily doped as compared to the normal PN junction diode. If that is reverse biased, if this is reverse biased, then you will get a reverse bias graph of the same type, but the breakdown will be very sharp here. Breakdown will be very sharp. This is voltage, this is reverse current, this is breakdown voltage. The breakdown voltage will be very sharp. So here you can see it was little slant, it was little increasing, but here it is very sharp very sharp that means at a particular voltage the current is going on increasing at a at a reference at a at a uh, reference particular voltage and that is called as your zener voltage and because of this it, it can be used in a voltage regulator now here what happens is this increasing current is happening because the depletion layer is little narrower as compared to the normal PN junction diode, there is no much area of the depression layer. And because it is heavily doped, the electric field of that depression layer is strong. And that strong electric field will break many bonds of the atoms in the depression region. And it will produce many free electrons or many charge carriers. And those charge carriers will help in increase of the reverse current. That type of increasing of reverse current will be called as Zener breakdown. This was called as Zener breakdown. So in Zener breakdown, there is no collision of atoms. And because there is no collision, there is no collision of the electrons. That's why there is no heat produced. And because there is no heat produced, the device will not get damaged. It is used in reverse bias mostly in all the applications. In most of the applications, Zener diode is used in reverse bias only and the main application of it is it can be used as a voltage regulator because of this property where at a constant voltage the current will go on increasing.